Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray, joined here in the commentary position, as always, by Lee Dixon. And coming right up, we have live coverage of this Dutch Eredivisie fixture. It's Willem II, and they face PSV. Cheers, Derek. Yeah, really excited about this one. Looking forward to some entertaining end-to-end -end football. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man. Lee, what do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, we say to each other in the back four, don't give him a yard because he will score. Don't give this lad half a yard. He's such a great finisher. So the initial 11 for the home side. If you like wingers, you'll love this league. Yeah, absolutely. I love to watch a winger play, especially with pace and power. The central striker will stay more or less in front of the goal. The support will be provided by the three central midfield players. The back four is pretty conventional, but the fullbacks will be asked to support from behind. Well, here's how the lineup looks for PSV. It looks like a conventional 4-4-2. A preferred formation by Arsene Wenger when he arrived at Arsenal. Two main strikers, four across the midfield. Really important for the fullbacks to link up with the wide midfielders in this system. Mike Trezor and Dei Chimier. A bit sloppy in possession. Eran Zahavi. Mario Götze. Götze. Oh, good use of the ball. An incisive pass. Real chance. Oh, a superb save. Unable to keep the ball that time. Olivier Boscalier. Paul Jonk. Mario Götze. The attack continues, they're making considerable progress. Good defending. Couldn't keep it. Olivier Boscalier. Max. Looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Can he give them the advantage? And with that, they've thwarted the opportunity. Owusu. Pavlidis. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Olivier Boscalier. Max. Olivier Boscalier. He might be able to profit from the wide position. As clean as a whistle, that challenge. An awful lot of green space to run into. And the cross is very much on. Wonderful challenge and a throw-in coming up. 
Well, unable to hold his run, and that's offside. The visitors have had total control of possession, but the rest needs work. It's too slow moving the ball. There's no imagination. Need a lot more from them. Olivier Boscalier. Daniel Malen. Oh, nice ball. Oh, well, that's the kind of player you want from your defender. Gakpo. Tremendous intuition to win it back. He's got the right idea with that pass. Can they convert? A goal! They've offered the scoring in the derby. And I'll tell you what, you can hear a pin drop in here. Well, here it is again. The through ball is perfectly timed. It causes havoc, and because he's on his own, he collects himself, and he finishes it perfectly past the keeper. One nil then. And we will have just one additional minute. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. Well, this man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Lee. Well, his manager will be delighted with him. He's been spot on in this game, hasn't he? Energy, imagination, desire, and a steely determination. Can they convert? The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Pablo Rosario. Here's Gutzer now. Pablo Rosario has it. Eran Zahavi. Gakpo. Alert defending. Fried. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Olivier Boscali. Eran Zahavi. It's there for him. And the referee's verdict is penalty kick. The referee might well have been tempted to book him for that. Resisted the temptation. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. Well, the post getting in the way there. Good defending to prevent the chance. Evangelos Pavlidis. Fried. And a decent delivery. Now delivering that deep cross. Well, no problems defensively. Through the middle towards Gutzer. 
The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Strong but fair tackle. Throw ins given. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Eric Gutierrez. Zahavi with it. Takes some progress with the ball at his feet. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. Paul Yonk. Owusu. Could play it in. However, up a dead end. And smart defending. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Mario Götze. Now Gutierrez. Dumfries on the offensive. And can they prize them open now? Eran Zahavi. Just couldn't get it through. Another goal from this corner would in all likelihood secure victory. Substitution time it is. Corner kick played in. That's all they can conjure for now. Well, no degree of difficulty for the goalkeeper. Well, they haven't been at their best today, that's for sure. But this game is far from over. And the fans are certainly reminding them of that. You've got to think there'll be one more chance or two. And it's a case of just five minutes left. Eric Gutierrez. And it's with Dumfries. Mario Goodson. Real danger. They have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Eran Zahavi. Big chance! And a goal to delight the fans! Just what they were hoping for! Well, here's the replay, and as we can see, the defence can't cope with the through ball, and the pressure comes as he knew it would, but it's the strength that impresses me. It's a great goal in the end. Second goal for them here. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them.
Yeah, they really struggle to get to grips with this game, to be honest. Starts in midfield for me. Always seems second to the ball. And then too many mistakes at the back has cost them. Poor performance overall. And the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Lee. Well, obviously, first concern is do you win the game? They've done that. He played very well as well. He's got his goal. He nearly